Howdy doody, everybody. My name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, Miko led us to the rooftop, and we had two choices for naughty things. I hope you guys enjoyed those choices, and now we are going somewhere, I think. Hmm. Oh, uh, I guess I just went home. Fortunately, there's no drama when I go home. Oh, that's good. Hiromi and Miko went straight home too. Oh, whew, that was a lot of things that happened. I don't think I could handle any more attention from them right now. Hmm, all I want to really do is sleep. Yeah, I must, must be exhausted. Hmm. Hmm. But it was fun. I had to do it next year too. But it was fun. It was fun though. I could get used to cultural festivals. Well, I mean, those kinds of uh, cultural festivals. But I'll think about that later. The phone is ringing. Aw, who could it be? Hello, Keda. Oh, it's Dad. This is unexpected. Hey, Dad. Did something happen? Oh. You could say that. Oh no, what happened? Something's wrong. Oh, this isn't good. The tone of his voice. I can feel a trail of sweat going down my spine. Why am I reacting like this? What is this apprehensive feeling? Oh no. Oh no, is someone sick? How do you think you did on your exams? Wait, that was a question? I think I did okay. Oh, you really think so? I had someone get the results early for me. Oh, what the heck? How? He goes quiet for a moment. You aren't doing any better at that school, are you? My blood freezes as he says that. He only ever takes on this tone for one thing. Grades? It sounded like you were doing better. But I think that swimming club has done nothing but distract you. I entertain the idea, but it's obvious that you've been getting nothing out of it. You need to focus on your academics. Oh man, no. There's a time you tell him, Kata. Tell him. I'm panicking like crazy. Desperately racking my brain to find a way to get away from this. Uh oh. But no ideas come to me. But, Dad, are you even listening to me? I told you, this is going to end here and now. His tone is final. Oh, Kata, come on. There's no convincing him. I heard otherwise. You're going to come back home and I'm going to get you a tutor. It's obvious that you haven't been able to learn anything from public schools. I thought that this academy might finally bring out your potential. Yeah, but my potential is not in studying. It's in swimming. I want to scream that it's not true, that he's wrong. Do it. But I can find no real argument against that. What? Hey, Ken, swimming. You barely made any friends too. So what's the point of you being in there? Barely any friends. Hiromi and Miko. What about the swimming club? Yeah. A heavy sigh echoes through the earpiece. Do they even count? You haven't even been there for that long. I can't help but think back to those moments I shared with them. Everything I've done while I was here. They've been there the entire time. After all that's happened. After they confessed in front of me like that. But they... I'm not going to hear it. Let me get this straight. This isn't negotiable. You're leaving and that's going to be final. I thought that independent living would sort your life out, but it seems I was wrong. Well, it's not really independent living when you keep checking up on me, Dad, and, and calling to get early results of the grades. It's time for you to come home. Traditional schooling is just isn't going to cut it for you. I'll be looking over your shoulder the entire time to see if your studies are coming along. Oh, that's great, Dad. That's that's lovely, that's what I want. Yes, that'll, 
make it even more worse. Do you get that? Do you understand? I begin grinding my teeth. Oh, is Kata gonna, gonna tell him the truth? There's a hundred things I want to say to him right now. But, ah, oh, my anger is only going to make things worse. I, I understand. Dang it, Kata! I'll start packing my things right away. Deep down though, I feel like I'm being torn apart. Well, of course you are. You got two girlfriends now and, and your dad's just gonna hover over you your entire life. Good. I know this hurts now, Keda, but I assure you that it's for your own good. You know that, right? No. You think you know what's best for me, Dad. I know what's best for me. I'm doing this because I care. You don't care at all. You're not even putting in my feelings, Dad. All you see are results. You never asked me if I wanted to be a good student. No. That's just something you decided should happen. If you actually cared, then you know what you're doing to me right now. Not really. You're not really telling him, telling him, and yeah, telling him anything there, uh, Kata. But I can't defy you. Deep down, I know that you will drag me out of here, kicking and screaming if you have to. I know, Dad. Well, I mean, if he tells his dad, his two girlfriends, he probably would be okay with with Kata's thing. All right, if you're fine with it. What? If I'm fine? I'm not fine with it. What the heck? You said it was negotiable. I don't understand. Then I'll be seeing you soon. See you soon, Dad. An audible click rings through my ears. I just stand there, holding the phone in my hand. I feel empty. That is the only way to describe this. Well, yeah, because your life is being torn apart by your dad right now. And you're not telling him the truth. I am hollow. No fear, no despair, nothing. Wow. That's... That's horrible. Ugh. I haven't left my apartment in days. In days? Wouldn't Miko and... And, um... Uh, wouldn't they be worried? I would think they'd be worried. What the heck? Hiromi. Yeah, Hiromi would be super worried too. She'd be really angry. Swimming club practice is on today. But I don't even want to go anymore. Because you're depressed right now. All I can feel is bitterness as I stare out from my balcony. There really is no point in trying at all. Yeah, there is. You're t you didn't tell him the truth. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm getting upset at you, Kato. For once in my life, I really found something I wanted to do. But someone else took that away from me. Uh, pretty much 80% is... Eh, more like 70% is yourself. Because you're not telling the truth to your dad. Yet, there's not a single part of me that's even willing to fight against that. I should be screaming out against this. Yeah, you should. Doing something other than sitting here moping. Mm-hmm. Maybe I really don't have any talent at all. No, that's, that's not true. Kata. Perhaps I was just deluding myself into thinking that I just didn't care enough to do anything. You're doing something! Swimming! That's something! Ugh. I... I just need some time to myself. You had enough time, you had a couple of days. Never left the apartment. To work all of this out. Hmm. No, you had a lot of time. What am I going to do about this situation? My abysmal grades mean that dad's going to force me to leave. Not if uh, Miko and... You know. Miko and... Uh, Hiromi has anything to say about it. If that happens, then I'll have to leave all of this behind. I won't ever be able to go for swimming practice again. Worst of all, I won't ever see those two again. No, I can't let this happen. Oh, finally. I have to work out how to turn this around. But 
What can I do? This is the one time that I need to speak out for myself most. Oh! Finally! Yet, I cannot muster the courage to do so. Oh, dang it! Why am I... Why must I be such a coward? For what felt like the first time in countless years, I've been genuinely happy. Shouldn't that be enough reason for me to do anything? Yeah? I guess a coward doesn't deserve a happy life either. What? That doesn't make any sense. I hope that you do well with whatever you do, Hiromi. Nico. I guess this really is the end for us. Wait. What's that sound? What's that sound? Ooh. We'll find out in the next episode, everybody, what that sound is. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!